Today I'm going to explain to you why you guys suck so much at approaching shorter balls and why it always seems like you're late on those types of balls. Now the main reason why that's the case is not your speed, it's not your footwork, it's not that you're not fast enough to get up to the ball. In most cases it's not even the fact that you see it too late. The main reason why most people don't manage to get up to shorter balls quick enough and get in a position to hit the ball well and then end up missing it is because they are turning sideways and side shuffling forward. Now if I have a short ball that I have to get to and I'm trying to do a unit turn that most people understand as my whole body is turning sideways, now how am I, how am I supposed to run forward in an efficient way? It's impossible. So what, mo most, what most people do is they now side shuffle towards the ball and if they get to the ball they feel like, wow, I'm you know, very well set up, I'm already sideways, I don't have to do much anymore to hit that shot. Now the problem is, like this, you can only reach balls properly that are maybe like three to six feet inside the court. So if you're starting back here and you get sideways, maybe you can make it up to here, still set up and hit a good shot. If a ball is much shorter than that, it just doesn't give you enough time, even if you see it early because you have to take so many steps and side shuffling is a very slow form of movement as we know already in the recovery process. That's why we have a, a cross step to make the whole thing faster. But what's even faster than cross step is an actual step forward. So that's what we're trying to use when we're approaching shorter balls. We're trying to run in a straight line towards the spot that we need to position ourselves in. Now that obviously could open up your stance a little bit, but that's what's required on the shorter balls, right? Unless you can get up to the ball, you know, even with enough time to spare so you can take another step with your left foot a little bit more sideways, usually you will run up to the ball and hit it while moving forward. So as you can see here, both of my feet are pointed towards the contact point. I'm trying to run forward as if I'm jogging. There is no, obviously you don't want to jump up high too much when you're running, but you want to make sure that you're running forward in a straight line towards the spot that you're aiming for with your feet. That will give you a lot more time to actually slow down before the contact point happens so you can get a lot more control over your shots. Now you need to be able to run like that and most people struggle with running in a straight line, believe it or not, when on the tennis court because all they're trying to do is turn sideways to prepare their body for the shot. Now this is the big misconception. People think when they turn sideways, their whole body has to turn sideways. But an actual proper unit turn only mentions the upper body rotation backwards, right? You're turning your upper body, uh, you know, on a forehand or right-handed player's forehand, to the right to prepare for the shot because you want to create that twist in your body on the backswing where your upper body is twisted against your lower body. So no matter if you have a you know, more closed stance where you do the same thing or more open stance, you want your upper body to go back, not the lower body. So you can do the backswing and you know, the unit turn essentially while you're moving straight forward by turning back like this. You do not want to turn both your feet as well as your hips sideways before you start moving forward. Try to follow this advice, move forward towards the ball in a straight line and you'll see how much easier it is for you to reach those short balls and essentially hit a winner on almost every single attempt. So first I'm going to show you how not to move to the ball. Kata will throw the ball up and I will make sure to move to the ball in a bad way, okay? So watch this real quick, go ahead. See how difficult that was? Very challenging for me because I'm trying to move side shuffling. I notice that I can't get there and then I have to rush forward last second. Now if we're doing the same way or the same thing, the correct way, you will see how much easier it becomes for me. Go ahead. Here, I run forward and now I can run to the ball with a little bit of time to spare, set up my feet and swing forward. Now obviously I could have run much faster forward, right? Let's do that one more time. Let's demonstrate that. Here, I run forward and now I can set up with a lot of time to spare, put the ball right in the corner, no problems. And one more time, if I try to move fast the wrong way, side shuffling first, and I'm going to try to move as fast as I can, we'll see that I still can't move that way towards the ball. Go one more time. I still have to rush in the end, okay? So keep in mind, if you're trying to move better towards shorter balls, you got to make sure that you run in a straight line so you have the most efficient way of running towards the ball and thus a lot more time when you're setting up. 
you can calm yourself down and have a lot more control on your shots. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.